220, I have two packs, rooftop, building 1-0. In the future, the next generation of conflict, and especially in a peer-to-peer -peer war, it's not going to be a traditional war. We're going to see much more play from non-kinetic sources, from space and cyber as we go forward. And I think it's going to be a much more dynamic battle than it's ever been before. In today's world, we have a pile of data, more data than we can even process. Whether it's across air, space, cyber, air, cyber, you can imagine all the different combinations. But in the future, the idea is to bring in land, bring in maritime, bring in national, bring in our coalition partners. So we have this constellation of people and agencies working together in a unified way with, with a common picture. We're going to need to invest in a lot of technologies that will enable effective planning and execution across air, space, and cyber domains. And we're doing that today within Lockheed Martin. We're investing in artificial intelligence, pattern recognition, adaptive learning. Those tools uh, are maturing uh, within this decade to support multi-domain command and control. It's important to have the best capabilities. A lot of people, when they think of innovation, they think of technology and autonomy and robotics and nanotechnology. That truly is innovative. But innovation is also how you do things and how you do things better. And how do you get people, machines together to collaborate in order to provide the best capabilities for those young men and women who are out there on the tip of the spear today. We predict that multi-domain will increase the speed of decision-making, so we will always be a step ahead of that enemy. We won't be reacting to them. They will be reacting to us, and they will know that our technology and our decision-making always holds them at risk.